you know, there are moments when I just don't feel like leaving, you know? Oh, yeah. I want to tell you something. Listen to this one. Everybody knows that the Holy Sansa, the Holy Sansa was just so holy in fire. And there was a big rabbi in his time, he was called the Gute Yi, the good Jew, real good Jew. You know, friends, sometimes my heart is bleeding. I want to show kids what a Jew is and I have, don't have anybody to show. That's the truth. Whom do we have to show? We can show our little children who are still good, but then they grow up and I don't know what happens to them. But anyway, there was one holy Yidali, he was called a good the good Jew. The world called him the good Jew. So the holy son, there was a custom that once a year, he would be Shabbos with the good Yid. So you can imagine Shabbos, what is going on there, you know, Friday night, the dancing to greet the Shabbos, and then the feastler. You know, I want to tell you, by the, by the good Yid, they never knew if they ate or not, because while they were eating, they were so high on Shabbos that they never knew exactly did we eat already or not, you know? So they always had to have a special Yidal there who was not so high, he should tell them if they ate or not, because they didn't remember. So there was a good Yid. Yeah. Anyway, so then the story is, the feast was over, and then the Sansa and the Guti Yid walked in into the Guti Yid's uh, private little house, and they were talking for hours. Then suddenly the Holy Sansa says to the Gut the Guti Yid says to the Holy Sansa, Holy Sansa, you're a fire from heaven, you're an angel, you don't have to sleep, but I'm a simple human being. If I don't go to sleep now, I just won't be able to celebrate Shabbos tomorrow morning. I have to pray. So please don't be angry with me, but really, I have to go to sleep. So the Holy Son says, you know, I'm so sorry. Really, please forgive me. I'm really not considerate. Forgive me. He says, good Shabbos. And in those days, was accustomed to kiss the Holy Master's hand. He kissed his hand. He walks out. And the good Yid begins to concentrate, you know, before he goes to sleep, to say God is one. Suddenly the door opens, the son is back. He pretends he forgot the whole thing, sits down again, and again they talk for a few hours. Finally the Gutta Yid says, Holy Sansa, you are fire from heaven, you're an angel, you don't have to sleep, but I'm a simple human being. If I don't go to sleep now, I'll really crack up, I don't have strength anymore. I gotta go to sleep. So the son says, really, I'm so sorry, please forgive me, I'm so inconsiderate of me, please forgive me. He walks out. The Gutta Yid says, please close the door tight. Because I'm sure he'll be right back. <laughs> so sure enough, two seconds later, the Holy Sansa tries to open the door to come back. So the Sansa is standing on the other side of the door with his followers and he says, you know something? I really know the truth that he has to go to sleep. And I really know the truth that I should leave. But I just can't.